Welcome to this week's update of Under the Oak Tree on Manta. Here's our recap of episode 81. It's back to school time with Ruth. Magic school, that is. Last time, learning that Maxie was in danger made Riften a little angry. I did not dare call on you with Sir Riften so furious with me. And Ruth feels legitimately bad for putting Maxie at risk. In his defense, he never expected her to get up close and personal with monsters like that. She is a fine lady, after all. I mean, who would have expected a lady used to the comforts of life in the capital to venture into the muck of a monster graveyard? Okay, wow. Thanks for the insult, Ruth. He basically thought she'd sit around and do nothing in an emergency. Maxie is pissed that Ruth doesn't expect much from her, but socially awkward Ruth actually meant to give her a compliment. What I meant was that you greatly exceeded my expectations. And he wants to be sure Maxie has enough knowledge next time in case Ruth is out of town and her mage skills are needed again. Maxie is still stressed about the responsibility, but she agrees to learn more from Ruth, who unfortunately assigns her a lot of reading to do. A lot of reading. I've been cooped up in the library all day after this morning's late breakfast. I've only managed to read half my books. But all thoughts of food are driven from Maxie's mind when she sees some Rem Dragon knights carrying in Rifton's armor armor that's completely covered in blood. Maxie rushes outside to see if Riften is okay, and what she finds is the last thing she'd ever expect. A completely unharmed Riften, who is undressed in the middle of the courtyard. Why is Riften naked? And do we get to see more of him? Oh yeah. Find out only on Manta. And as always, please subscribe and like for more UOT content.